Hey, what's going on? Joshua Elder here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to show you guys a system I've been using for roughly the past three weeks now that's producing nearly $1,000 per day. And in this video, I'm going to introduce something that's completely brand new. I'm going to introduce this entire system. I'm actually going to allow you to copy my YouTube ads. This is paid advertising that you can actually run through this whole entire system. So all you do is you copy my YouTube ads, you copy my YouTube videos, you run those ads to a sales process, then to those YouTube videos that do what's called indoctrination. They get people to know, like, and trust me, hopefully, right? Obviously the results are showing for themselves that I'm doing really, really well up to this point. And if you guys wanna see the results, there's going to be a link in the description that you can go ahead and check out. There's a playlist along with some other links that show you guys all the proof of this campaign. I don't wanna get into that within this video. I wanna get to the point, but if you guys need some proof to back up my claims here, all the results are in the description. Nonetheless, once again, we run people from a YouTube ad to what's called a sales process and then an indoctrination process through my YouTube channel to get them to know, like, and trust me. And then we send them to various income streams that they then purchase, buy into, and then we get paid as an affiliate. We get a commission. And you're actually able to get up to $3,000 in commissions. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. So if you're looking forward to the content, number one, like the video. Number two, if you're brand new to the channel, we're actually right in the middle of a case study series where I'm showing you how to go from zero to $10,000 per month, working part-time with affiliate marketing, just by simply copying my assets. So if you like that idea, make sure that you check out the playlist below, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, you tick the bell icon, because I'm releasing a video pretty much every single day that show you guys exactly what to do, how to do it, you're literally copying and pasting what I'm doing as I do it. This is a paint by number system and you get to be a part of this whole entire process. So number one, in an online business, you need what's called a sales funnel. Something that looks like this. Let's just go over to this landing page right here. When we send people from a traffic strategy, it could be a YouTube ad, like we're gonna showcase here in this video. It could be Instagram, it could be, uh, SEO, search engine marketing, blogging. Uh, it could be Facebook groups. It could be offline even. Maybe it could be a recommendation from a friend. We simply send visitors to this site. This site captures names and email addresses, then gives away something for free in return. And then after that, once they fill out their email address and name, they're sent to what's called a thank you page. This thank you page, of course, the purpose of it is to give them what they promised by letting them know to go to their email inbox. And also you can send them just straight to exactly what it is that you promised. So if we look at this little mind map here, you can see that we're going from a YouTube ad to the opt-in page, like I showed you, to the thank you page, which leads us to the actual system, right? So the thank you page is part of the system. So now the system takes over and people go over to video one. When people hit video one right here, they're taken to our YouTube channel, right? So this YouTube channel has a playlist and this playlist is comprised of many different videos. Let me show you exactly what this playlist looks like. So they land on video one, which is going to be, of course, right here. And then after video one, they can actually complete video two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. And this is where the indoctrination process takes over. Each video provides value just like this video, and then it makes an offer. So the cool thing is, is you actually get to copy all these YouTube videos, right? All these videos that you're seeing right here, you get a copy and you get to upload to your own unique YouTube channel. Again, these are all the videos right here. You'll simply download them. You'll upload them to your channel exactly like I show you. And if you don't know how to do that quite yet, again, you need to go through the playlist. It's going to be below in the description. Start with the video one and work your way up and it will show you how to set up 
everything up to this point. And in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to set up your first YouTube app. So it's crucial though, that you complete all the videos here before you continue with this video here. Okay. So once you've completed all those videos, you will have your YouTube videos uploaded. You will have your email follow-up set up as well. So another really cool feature is when people land on the thank you page, in the background, there's something going on. That email address is added to what's called an autoresponder series, okay? That email address is logged into a software, so then you can automatically send other emails to that email address. And we're not just talking about one email address. Every time somebody opts in, they're added to the email autoresponder series, and they're also added to an email list. So every single day, they're gonna start receiving email follow-ups that lead them back to the YouTube video playlist and the specific videos in that playlist, as well as the different multiple income streams that you're going to be able to earn commissions from. Also simultaneously, the YouTube videos, like I said, they're giving value, but then they're making offers getting people to click the links in the description of the videos, right? So this is a description right here. And these are all affiliate links right here. You're gonna be able to put your own custom affiliate links in the description of your YouTube videos. Again, you're uploading my videos. You don't have to put yourself on camera, do any talking whatsoever. You upload my videos right here. Once they're uploaded, then you start putting your own affiliate links in the description of your videos. And again, the whole entire playlist here is gonna show you exactly how to do all of this. So in this video, once this is all set up, assuming that you've gone through the whole entire playlist up to this point, we're now gonna go ahead and we're gonna set up our first YouTube app. So what you need to do is you need to go to Google and type in AdWords, okay? Google AdWords, or just simply Google Ads. You're gonna click on the first result right here. AdWords is now called Google Ads. So you can type in AdWords, you can type in Google Ads, click the first listing, and then you will go ahead and you will click on start now. You'll go ahead and enter your billing details, credit card information, especially if you wanna implement this portion and leverage paid traffic. The cool thing about paid traffic is the fact that you instantly start generating leads. Whereas with free traffic, organic traffic, like uploading YouTube videos to a YouTube channel, getting traffic for free, you know, search engine optimization, search engine marketing, ranking websites in Google, ranking your videos in Google, uh, forum marketing, that's all called organic marketing, which means you're trading time for traffic. Whereas with paid marketing, you set up an ad and then you pay to have website visitors sent to you without having to do all the le extra legwork. And that is going to be more automated for you. So in this video, we have gotten our organic strategy set up, which is our simply our YouTube videos. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our page strategy set up, which is our YouTube ads. So we want at least one free traffic strategy and one paid traffic strategy working for us. Now, once you log in, you don't want to go ahead and set up a campaign quite yet. What we want to do is we want to do a few things. Number one, we're going to go ahead and set up our conversion tag. So we're going to go ahead to tools and settings. We're going to go to measurement. We're going to click on conversions. And then we're going to click on new conversion action. Okay, we're going to select website. Now at this point, we wanna just go ahead and enter our website domain right here. So I'm just gonna put website, or we'll go ahead and enter my website here, abcpayday.com. And we're gonna click on scan. And again, this website domain is the domain that your capture page is hosted on, okay? So it says, which address do you wanna use? The URL you enter redirects to this address, use this URL to make sure you are able to measure conversions on your site. So let's go ahead and let's click on apply. 
And it says create conversion actions automatically from website events. We can go ahead and create events based off of a page load. We can create it manually using code, which we're gonna go ahead and just do that. So we're gonna click on add a conversion action manually. And then we're gonna select the category. It's going to be submit lead form. It's going to be, um, you would put like zero to 10K leads right here. We'll just put zero to 10K test leads since this is a test, but you can just simply put leads. And then we're gonna do use the same value for each conversion, I believe. Let's double check this here. If you track leads, enter the average value for each lead. If you only sell one type of product, enter the value of each cell. And I believe use different values for each conversion. That's if you sell multiple products. So we're just gonna use the same value. We're gonna make it $1. And then we're going to do one as far as count, recommended for leads, signups, and other conversions because the, only the first interaction is valuable. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on done. Okay, once you do that, okay, again, we've made sure that we've set this up. We're gonna click on save and continue. And now we're gonna add this snippet, this line of code to our website. Now, depending on which funnel builder you're using will depend on where you place your tags. So what you can actually do, it says a Google tag allows you to measure activity on your website. You need to do this before individual event snippets can start measuring conversions. So we wanna click on setup right here. It's gonna go ahead and load. So what you're gonna do, since this is your first time, click on install a Google tag, click on next. And then you're gonna click on install manually. And now this says copy and paste it in the code of every page of your website immediately after the head element. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this. You're gonna go to your website. So we're actually gonna go over here. I'm gonna go to pages. Now yours is going to be different, right? Depending on which funnel builder you're using, you might be using the HBA funnel builder. You might be using Kartra. You might be using ClickFunnels. But nonetheless, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to come to all the pages, which is going to be your thank you page and your opt-in page. So this page plus this page, you're gonna add that line of code to. So we're gonna click on edit. We're gonna click on edit again. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to settings. You're gonna to go to tracking code. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna embed your tracking code where it specifies. Okay, again, it's gonna be different depending on the funnel builder that you're using. But again, it needs to be immediately after the head element. So copy this to your opt-in page and then also copy it to your thank you page. Once you do that, you can click on done and then you can click on done again and you're all set up and good to go. Now, one last thing that you wanna do is when you go back to tools and settings and go to measurement and go to conversions, you're gonna go ahead and find your leads conversion action that we just created. You're gonna click on it. And you're gonna to go to tag setup once again, click on install the tag yourself. Then at the bottom, there's going to be an event snippet. You're gonna leave it on page load. You're gonna go ahead and copy this snippet right here. And then you're gonna jump over to your thank you page. You're gonna edit your thank you page. And you're also going to add this snippet in the tracking code section as well. You're gonna click on apply. You're gonna go ahead and save it. And you'll be good to go to now track conversions. Now, for the sake of this video, you don't have to worry about this because I've already got it installed on my pages. So I get to select, use the Google tag found on your website where you're gonna select, like I showed you, install a Google tag, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead, confirm, click on done, and now we are good to go. Okay, after we do that, 
we can see our test leads here, the new sub submit lead form that we created. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back home and we're going to download, there's gonna be a link to the Google Drive below, we're gonna download our YouTube ad. So you're gonna see in the Google Drive this YouTube ad, you're gonna double click it, and you're gonna click on download in the top right hand corner. Once it's downloaded, then all you need to do is go to your YouTube channel, click on create and upload the video, but make sure it's unlisted, okay? Once it's uploaded and unlisted, you can click on it and we're gonna go ahead and copy the video link. After we do that, then we can jump back over to our ads account here. We can go to campaigns and now we can create our first campaign. So we're gonna click on create campaign. We're gonna select our account. We're gonna drive leads. We're gonna wait for this to load and it's going to have us select our conversion action. Okay, so we'll just give that just a second. It should load up here pretty dang quickly. So now what you could do is you could go ahead and add your conversion goal that we just created and then go ahead and click on continue. Then we're gonna select video here, drive conversions. Yep, and then we're gonna click on continue. And then here we can name our campaign. So this could be, this could be business op leads. This could be zero to 10 K leads, whatever you want to go ahead and name it. And then as far as locations, we can select United States. You can select the top four uh, income categories in the world, English speaking countries, uh, United States, United Kingdom, uh, New Zealand, Australia, and um, something like Ireland, for example. Okay. So you can select as many different countries as you want here. I usually like to test one at a time. Um, and I think I forgot to mention Canada in there too as well that you can go ahead and add. For this case study though, we'll just leave United States. That's what I have running right now. Languages, English, bid strategy, maximize conversions, and a daily budget. Typically the higher, the better. I like to start with a budget between like 30 to $50 per day. You're gonna notice that when you first launch your campaign, it will take time to gather data. You will be paying more per lead when you get started. When I started running my campaign, I was paying right around $10 per lead. Now I'm paying right around two to $3 per lead. Okay, so just understand that. Networks, we're gonna leave that as is. Content exclusions, we don't need to worry about that. Don't need to worry about the site link. Devices, we'll go ahead and click on that. Set specific, we'll remove TV screens. And then ad group, this ad group is gonna represent our targeting. So in this case, we can just type in passive income, for example, because we're gonna be targeting people that are interested in passive income. Okay, so everything looks pretty good up to this point. We'll select an audience here. We're gonna do op, uh, add an audience. And then what we could do is we could select new audience right here. And we're gonna select our audience name. We're gonna type in passive income. Again, you can decide what audience you wanna go for. There's the affiliate marketing audience. There's the passive income audience, the make money online audience, the e-commerce audience, entrepreneurship audience, um, work from home audience. I just listed like five different audiences. So we're gonna do passive income. You can use custom segments, your day own data. It's completely up to you. What we're going to do here is we're going to create our own segment. So we're gonna click on new segment, segment name, passive income. And we could do people who search for any terms on Google or people with any of these interest or purchase intentions. You can go ahead and test either or. We'll do Google search terms. We'll do passive income. And then when we type that in, look, it gives us different options, best ways 
to make passive income, top ways to earn passive income. Let's see what else we can find. We could do passive income opportunities. And we want to list as many as we can here. And let's just continue to type in passive income. Ways to make residual income. Top ways to make passive income. Best ways to make residual income. Best ways to earn passive income. We could see all the different variations that we have here. So we've added quite a few here and we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. And we'll click on save. You can see the weekly impressions right here, gender, age, parental status. We'll click on save here. And then we will do, you could do interest and detailed demographics if you want to here. I like to go ahead and just target one at a time. So we're going to leave that out. Then we're going to go to demographics. We want to uncheck unknown. Then we want the age to be, I like to do at least 25 to 65. And then I like to do 10% to roughly 40%. And uncheck unknown here. This looks fine right here. And then we click on save. Give this just a second. And then we're going to uncheck optimized targeting because if we have optimized targeting on, it will target people outside of what we specified here. We don't want that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to paste our YouTube link right here. And the final URL is going to be our capture page URL. And then the call to action, we can also have a display URL right here. So I could put simple, for example, here. And then, of course, this URL as well, just so you guys are clear. Make sure that the URL that you're sending people to is not the same landing page that you're sending your, your organic traffic to. So what you'll want to do is duplicate your opt-in and your thank you page. So it's separate from your organic traffic. So you can separate it. Because when I go to forms here and I go to my analytics, I can actually tell that my paid traffic opt-ins are right here and my free traffic opt-ins are right here. So you want to make sure you separate that. So the capture page link that I'm going to be using is going to be this one right here, okay? Which is going to be my paid traffic opt-in. So I'm just gonna copy that and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna paste that right here. And then this is gonna be 365 OPT. And then call to action is going to be sign up. And then we could put, as far as the headline, we could put zero to 10K. And then I could put learn how to create passive income. Using a proven business model, for example. Cool, we've got all that. And then we can just go ahead and auto-generate using channel banner, and then we can select create campaign. And we are good to go. Click on continue to campaign. Now we can go back to all campaigns and we got all of our campaigns right here. As of right now, we've spent $133, roughly only like 80 to $90 of that, even less, it might be 70. Um, is traffic I'm running to capture pages, okay? For that capture page. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because out of like 70 to $80, we've already got 36 leads today. So that's like $2.52 or so per lead. So this is converting really, really well. I wanna encourage you to follow this tutorial. You'll probably have to go back and watch this over and over again 
Now, I hope this was genuinely helpful for you. If you guys have any comments, please let me know in the description below. Again, you guys are copying my assets, copying my proven campaigns, and you get to deploy them in your own life and business, start generating your own leads and really become an independent marketer. That is the key here. So go ahead, follow all the instructions in this video. Make sure you've completed everything below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.